Welcome to the start of Hamburg Beer Week. I am at Brudi Uberquell in Hamburg in Germany. If you have a look over here, you've got the harbour. We're gonna have a walk through now into the brewery. Uh, they also, they're very famous for their pizza. Which is here. But what an amazing, amazing, cool place this is. It's kind of like old mangling kind of machines going on and they've got um, beans and stuff growing and, and that looks like figs, figs growing. So there's a lot of kind of vegetation in, in, involved with this kind of this brewery, which is great. This building used to be where they used to bring the whales off the, from the harbour, from the docks. And this was a whaling station, so they used to put the whales in and they used to chop all the, the whales up for the, for the fat, the whale fat and the blubber to fuel the lighting and, and some of the electricity in the city. So this building goes back maybe like 500 years, I think, uh, Toby. Maybe just... 200. <laughs> maybe, maybe 200. I, I'm 300 years up, but never mind. I'm excited. <laughs> so if you're following me through. There's some fantastic outside seating here. But as soon as I seen this, I thought this is absolutely super cool. Super cool. Look at these outside fermenters. I have a bottle here of uh, Uberquell Original. And I'm going to be pouring this, 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 this Uberquell original straight from the fermenter, straight from the fermenter. So there's probably room for two in here. Here we go. How amazing is that, eh? Straight, straight from the fermenter. So this is a Halles Lager, Uberquell original. This is what it looks like with the, with the beer label. But I thought to myself, I must have, you know, you come to these places, you have to try the beer from the tap if it's available. So great conditioning, great lovely small bubbles on the beer. Uh, it's it's a kind of a straw coloured lager. I was very fortunate to drink a, a bottle of this on the way back from the airport last night uh, <laughs> with Toby here, my uh, who's filming. Um, let's get the aroma. What a fantastic, fantastic Hellas lager! It really is. Uh, it's a nice level of sweetness to the beer. But it's got a fantastic, fantastic bitterness. Fantastic bitterness. Really nice, kind of, really inviting, really inviting aroma. Let's um, let's dive into this one. Oh, this Toby, this is so good. Absolutely, such a good beer. This is forty percent of your sales, yeah. It is, of yeah. the of the whole sales, and I, I can see why. I can see why. It's super, super inviting. I think that's the word for this beer. Is inviting. You drink this beer, and and it just invites you to, especially when you've got a like. We're quite lucky with the weather today. It was spitting about ten minutes ago, but it's it's a lovely, lovely day to sit out and enjoy and enjoy a beer. But you could just sit and enjoy this all afternoon, and I'm sure you have, uh, Toby, in, in in the past. <laughs> Lovely sweetness from the malts. Fantastic, fantastic drinkability. There's a nice bitterness that comes through. It's not as bitter as a Pilsner. That's the difference with the Heller's Lager. It's one of those styles that, that, that really, over the last few years, 
has, there's a lot of people brewing Heller's Lager now because it's, it, as, as I just mentioned, it's not as bitter as the Pilsner. It's, it's, it's more a sweeter beer, but it still has a nice bitter kick. But I think it's just the way that this beer is just super, super drinkable with lots and lots of flavor that makes it probably your number, your number one seller. So, uh, five percent ABV. Um, the malt is Pilsner uh, and, and Munich malt. The hops are Sapphire, Tradition, Perla, and Saz. And then the rest, uh, the descriptions in German, which I don't. <laughs> Maybe you could read the description for me. Right? Okay, es ist äh, leichte Hopfennote, aber schwer in Ordnung, leichtes Prickeln gegen schwere Gedanken zurückhaltend, aber straightforward. Yeah, it's, what does that mean it, in English? <laughs> no, it's some kind of explanation what the beer, when you drink it, uh, what do you feel? It's more about a mood pairing uh, than uh, ah, a beer description. Yeah. yeah, okay. Okay, well, yeah, it, it put me in a really good mood. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Perfect. Fantastic, absolutely amazing. What an amazing building. If you just pan around to the side here, you can see it's it's shaped in it's got a lovely curvature to the to the to the whole building. It really does. It's just amazing, amazing. Do you know? I got a funny feeling this is going to be my favorite bench <laughs> all afternoon not too far away from from the from the tank beer fantastic so so um you you guys started in 2017 uh, yes. you got some ter terrific growth uh year on year uh the, the apparently the pizza is fantastic we'll be i'm sure we'll get some pizza later on um you do some you do stouts New England IPAs, I see all sorts of different styles. So if, if you're in the Hamburg area, be sure be sure to check out Uberquell Brewery. Uh, we're going to do a, a more of an, it, we're, the head brewer is going to turn up soon, so we're going to do a big kind of brewery tour and have a look at the building. And yeah, but for now, this is Uberquell Original and I'm going to rate it as, as I always do. I'm surprised that it's taken me so long to get around to drinking this beer. When I drank the beer last night in the cab, I think it's, it's, when you think about an original beer in the UK, you think of maybe best bitters or, you know, standard ales. And I think that's where it got me slightly confused. Drinking that beer and drinking that quality, I was so surprised, so, so kind of like over the moon at how good that Hannah's Lager tastes. That it was the first beer that I wanted to review today. I like that beer enough to give it a massive nine out of ten. Nine out of ten from Real Ale Craft Beer. I can totally see why it's forty percent of Uberquell sales. Um, thanks for watching. Keep an eye out for future videos. We've got, we're going to be in Hamburg all week, so we're going to do lots and lots of beer from lots of different breweries and and, and, and brewery tours here. And we're going on a boat later on. We're going to do some beer reviews on a boat. But yeah, cheers, Stone the Crows. <laughs>